Hey everyone, I'm just going to show you quickly how to set up Blender today so that you can import a SketchUp file and get it lit. There's a few steps I didn't show in the other video, so let's just have a quick look. Okay, so I've opened Blender here and I'm just looking around at the moment. So I'm using a 3D button mouse, which is, makes my life nice and easy. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up my preferences and put, get my SketchUp installer happening. So down here on these windows, we can change the function of each window to anything we want. So I've opened this up and I'm going to change this just temporarily to set up my user preferences. So I'm going to click on user preferences and yours will be initially showing the input tag. And under input, you want to make sure you select left. So this is select with and let's select left instead of right so left is much more natural and make sure that you've got emulate numpad turned on as well so both of those things are really handy and we can just to make sure we'll go save user settings and then each time we open a blender file we're going to have our left selection and emulate numpad turned on so that's handy so let's go to add-ons now and on the Google Classroom or on the YouTube you'll see that there's a link to download the SketchUp importer add-on now, what you want to do, it's pretty simple, is you want to go install from file and all you have to do is browse to wherever you've downloaded that SketchUp importer and you leave it as a zip file. So when you download it, just don't decompress it, leave it as a zip file and SketchUp will do all the work, I mean Blender will do all the work for you. It'll unpack it and install it and you're done, okay? You just go install from file, pretty easy and it's done. I'll just cancel because I've already have it in, imported. And then you should be okay. Now you may need to find it under SketchUp. So you, if you need to, you can go, oops, S-K-E-T-C-H, um, and check that Sketch, SketchUp importer has got a tick beside it. If it doesn't yet, okay, just um, tick it and you'll know it's running and then just go save user settings and you should be sorted, okay? So that's pretty much all you need to do. Then you can go back to your 3D view and you can get ready to import your model. Now the first thing that we'll do, I've made a file that's linked on Google Classroom which has got some lighting set up in it. So I'm just going to open that file now, go through the open menu and choose the, um, the lighting setup okay it's called house lighting the file so I'll click on that now and go open okay so I, and I've got it set up with quite a kind of little complex window environment here and part of the reason for that is that uh, this will allow us to work our camera we've got a side pane here you can hide that if you want to and we can hide away down the bottom as well if you don't want to see the node set up just yet okay now I'm going to turn this into rendered mode and I can start to see what's going on and this will vary depending on the speed of your computer but I can see a sun here and I've got a basic ground plane that we'll put a house onto for starters. You can add landscape or extra buildings and things later on if you want to. Now all I need to do is go file import and I come down here to import a SketchUp scene and I head over browse around and I'm just going to import um, an example of the file I've been working on. So I'm just going to click Townhouse Import and import it now. Now one of the things you do need to do, um, and this is when you import your file, is you need to make sure that you save it out of SketchUp as a SketchUp 8 um, or an earlier file. So if you're working in SketchUp 2017, the importer won't work. Um, properly for you but the thing that you'll see is once you get in here is that you have your SketchUp file will come in and it all should be starting to work properly. Now I've got hidden layers in my SketchUp file at the moment and so you can see that in this those layers remain hidden so just make sure you've got everything that you want to see um, available but this is fine for the moment. So we can see that I'm getting a fairly even lighting from my Blender setup I can see my textures have come in, so if I scroll over here and have a look, you can see that I've got the timber from the floor. So everything is pretty much ready to go, okay? 
Yeah, I've got a camera in the scene. Because we've turned on emulate numpad, I can hit my zero key and it'll show me currently what the camera is showing in the scene. And over in these two windows, I can see, if I zoom out a little bit, I'll be able to see my camera. Okay, and I can zoom in and out and I can see what that camera is doing. At the moment, I've got it set up as an orthographic camera, um, but let's turn it into a perspective camera, and then I can start to just move this around my scene, and it'll allow me to start to set things up and get an idea of what's going on. It's good fun. We can sort of start to push your camera into the house, and you can start to see what's going on. Okay, so that's the basics of getting that happening. We'll go through some more complexities in the other video, but um, don't forget, save out your SketchUp file in version eight or earlier. We'll um, make sure that it imports properly with the SketchUp importer. If it's a 2017 file, you'll find it'll do it import and there'll be nothing there, okay? So have fun with that one. Thank you.